This method can help answer key questions in the field of bacterial cell biology, such as how do cells replicate their DNA, how do they grow, and how do they divide. The main advantage of this technique is that living bacterial cells can be monitored for at least 24 hours under the microscope, and the technique does not require special equipment. Though this method can provide insight into Mixococcus santos growth and division, it can also easily be applied to other slow-growing bacteria. To begin, resuspend a single M. xanthus colony in 500 microliters of 1% CTT supplemented with antibiotics in a sterile tube and transfer the entire suspension to a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask containing 5 milliliters of 1% CTT. Prepare 1% agarose microscopy solution containing 0.2% CTT by mixing 1 gram of agarose with 80 milliliters of TPM buffer and 20 milliliters of 1% CTT medium. Microwave the solution until the agarose is molten. Fill a petri dish with approximately 60 milliliters of molten agarose and let it cool down to room temperature. Pre-warm the agarose pad at 32 degrees Celsius for at least 15 minutes prior to use. Next, place a sterile glass cover slip on a plastic or metal frame that has a hole in the middle. Then use tape to fix the cover slip to the frame. Add 10 to 20 microliters of exponentially grown M. xanthus cells onto the cover slip. To add fluorescent microspheres as fiducial markers of the cells, use TPM buffer to dilute.